What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to go through 10 plus things you should know using your Samsung Galaxy phones. This is a brand new beginner type video. So you might know a lot of these things already. So this is really for the newbie, the person that just is new to Samsung Galaxy phones. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First one is going to be how to take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy phone. There's a bunch of ways to do it. One way is to hold one finger on the volume down and then the other on the power button and press them both at the same time. So volume down and power button at the same time. And you can see it takes a screenshot for you and then you can do whatever you want with the screenshot. The other way to take screenshots is to take your palm. And I think this is a little, actually a little bit more difficult, but swipe your palm across the screen and you will get a screenshot. Now you do have to have that setting turned on. So what you want to do to turn that on is swipe down from the top, click the gear in the top right to go to settings. Next, you want to go into advanced features, then go into motions and gestures, and you will see palm swipe to capture. Just make sure that's turned on and you'll be able to do that across the screen on any screen to capture a screenshot. Number two is how to delete download and move apps. So let's first talk about downloading an app. If you want to download an app, you have the Play Store, open up your Play Store and you can browse if you want. You can search. I will search for music. Once you find the music app that you want to download, say it's this one right here, you can either hit install right there or click into it and then hit install. Give it a moment, hit your home button, swipe up or it might even show on your home screen. If it doesn't, you can swipe up and look for your apps, tap on the app and you can begin using your app. If you want to delete an app, the easiest way is to find it on your home screen. So you can press and hold right here and then hit uninstall right there. Otherwise, what you can do is swipe up, find the app on this screen, press and hold on it and then click uninstall. Hit OK at the bottom and that's how you want to install an app. What about if you want to move an app? So on your home screen, all you're going to do is press and hold the app and you can move it wherever you want. If you want to put it in a folder like this one, you can come in here and just let go. If you want to move it out of a folder, just press and hold and let it go. If you want to move an app that's in your you know, list of apps, your app launcher, press and hold it, go to the top and you can drag it wherever you want, just like we did a second ago. Next is how to copy and paste. So what you want to do is go into the app where you want to copy and paste text. Now you won't be able to copy and paste text everywhere. So for instance, if I'm in here and let's just say I want to copy hundred million songs, I might be able to, but it doesn't look like I'm able to. So there's a couple of ways you can copy text, but ultimately it works the same way wherever you are. Go into the app and let's just say I want to copy the text in here. All I'm going to do is press and hold and it already selected it all so because this is a text message. So I'm going to hit this, looks like two pieces of paper on top of each other. That copies it and if I want to paste it, just go to the field where you want to paste it. So for instance, if it's a text message, tap into the text field where you would type. And I already have it here, but another way you can do it, so I can either tap right here and it'll show up or I can press and hold in the spot where I want to paste it and tap paste. Now if you're on a website and you want to copy and paste text, again, you're going to do the same thing. Press and hold where you want to start. And then from here, you have these two blue little things that you can move around. That'll be the end. This would be the beginning and you can change it to where you want. You can make it smaller or bigger and it'll copy wherever you have it. Then tap copy. And then again, just paste it where you want, wherever you want to put it, you can paste it. So for instance, if I want to put it here, I can tap right here if I want. Otherwise I could press and hold and choose paste. Number four is how to change your wallpaper. The easiest way, there's two ways to do it. One way is to find a blank spot on your home screen, press and hold, go to wallpaper and style. And in here, you can just click browse my wallpapers and you'll see a bunch of wallpapers that are pre-installed on your phone. Another way to do it, and you have graphical and colors and wallpaper services. Another way to do it though within here is to go just scroll down just a little bit under browse my wallpapers and you will have galaxy themes. So. When you come in here, you can take Galaxy Themes. It'll eventually bring you here and you can see wallpapers. These are free and paid and you can look by the top. And then when you find one you like, just tap on it, hit download. For instance, if I wanted this one, I'll hit download. 
and then I'll hit apply. And it's telling me I can put it on my lock screen and my home screen. You can just uncheck or check both of these. You can even hit preview, see what it's going to look like. You can zoom in if you want, pinch in, maybe you want it to look like that. You can hit done. And you can see changes apply to lock screen, home screen. Otherwise, if you're just on the main wallpaper screen here where you don't want to download anything extra, what you can do is, like I said, you can hit browse my wallpapers, find the wallpaper you want. You can tap on these different ones if you're interested in these, preview it, same kind of the way we did just a moment ago. I'm kind of into the colors. So maybe I want this one. I'll hit uh, preview. And I'm like, you know what, I like it, I'm gonna hit done. And then it's changes has been to applied to both of my screens. So when I hit home, I have my new wallpaper. How to back up your photos. So there's multiple ways to do that. My favorite thing is Google Photos. They give you 15 gigs of uh, free space to back up your photos and videos. So you should have the app pre-installed on your phone. So what you wanna do is just swipe up and look for an app called Photos. Here it is, open it up. And right when you open it up, it should actually say, hey, do you wanna back it up? Maybe you bypassed that, or maybe you already said yes to this, but if you wanna double check on that, what you're gonna do is tap your uh, photo up in the top right, go into photo settings, and you'll see backup and sync. When you go into backup and sync, you can turn it on or off right there, and it will back it up for you to the account that you see. At the bottom, you can see photo size, which is the upload size, you have original quality, and you also have a storage saver, so you can choose between the two of which you want. I would choose original quality because as time goes on, photos on screens are gonna look worse and worse, so you wanna have the best quality saved for your photos and videos. What about if you want to scan a QR code with your Samsung Galaxy phone? What you wanna do is open up your camera. Once you have your camera open, make sure it's on photo mode. Find the QR code that you wanna scan, hover your phone over it, and then what you do, you see it popped up for me automatically. Sometimes you have to tap on it though, on where the QR code is, and then tap right here, and it'll open it up for you and bring you to the website or location online that it's trying to bring you. What about if you wanna block a phone number? So a couple ways to do that, open up your phone app, click the three dots in the top right, go to settings, go to block numbers, and in here, you can block calls from unknown numbers if you if you wanna block that. You can also just type in a phone number here, just tap right there and uh, type the phone number in. And now I'll no longer receive calls. You can also go into your recents under the phone app. So if you wanna block a number under your recents, what you'll do is tap on it, hit the I, and at the bottom, you can hit block, and it'll say you will no longer receive any calls or messages from this number, hit block. What about if you wanna block a text message that you receive? Well, open up your messaging app. Once you find the message that you receive from that person or company or whatever, press and hold on it. Hit the three dots in the top right, and tap block. Next would be how to connect to Wi-Fi. So swipe down, Press and hold where you see your Wi-Fi icon. And all you're gonna do is tap on the Wi-Fi that you want. Maybe I wanna connect to uh, this one. I'll tap on it, it'll automatically connect if you have it saved. Otherwise, if you tap on it, it's gonna ask you to put the password. Once you do that, tap on connect. Now another way you can bring up your Wi-Fi is swiping down from the top, tapping the gear in the top right. Go into connections and you'll see Wi-Fi, tap on Wi-Fi on the left side here. Make sure it's on. And then again, you'll see a bunch of networks pop up. Tap on the network that you want to connect to, type in the password if need be, otherwise it'll just automatically connect. Next is Bluetooth, similar way. You'll see a B up here from the top when you swipe down, press and hold on it, and you can tap on and connect to the Bluetooth device that you want. So if it was something new here like this smartphone, uh, smart TV 4K, tap on it, and as long as the other device is in pairing mode, it will automatically connect for you. Otherwise, you can also connect to Bluetooth by swiping down from the top, tapping the gear, and going into connections. Bluetooth, make sure it's on, and then find your device that you wanna to connect to by tapping on it, and then 
it should either say it's gonna pair or it'll automatically connect. If you wanna open up your camera really, really quick from any screen, just double press the power button. It automatically opens it up. And what you can do also, again, from any screen, you could be in an app or home or wherever you are, it'll always open up that camera. Now, if it's not working for you, what you wanna do is swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right, go down until you get to advanced features, side key, and make sure that double press is set to quick launch camera and it's turned on. And the last one is if you wanna screen record your screen, swipe down from the top, find screen record in here. I see it right here, I'm gonna tap on it and it gives me a couple options. If I don't care about the sound, I can choose none. If I just want it to record the sound that plays through the phone, I can do media or I can do media and mic, which means it'll play any sounds that come off from the phone and it'll also pick up the microphone so I can talk at the same time and it would record that. You can also show your taps and touches. So I would definitely recommend turning that on. And then once you're done, start recording. And there you go, it's running. You can also drag this little bar around. Even if you minimize it, you can open it back up and drag it around so it's not in your way. When you're done, you just hit that stop sign or you can swipe down from the top and tap it here. So there you guys go. Those are my tips and tricks for new beginners of Samsung Galaxy phones. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.